Every year on Valentine's Day, I find myself alone, and I don't want this year to be the same. So, I downloaded Tinder, and I downloaded 99 other dating apps. Yes, I'm extremely desperate. I'm gonna try every single one of them in this video. Some of the dating apps that I'm gonna try are pretty normal, and some are pretty weird. But I'll do whatever it takes to find a date for Valentine's Day. The first dating app that we're gonna try... Meet local golfers. Uh, it's a dating app for golfers. I would never be that desperate to pretend to play golf. Oh, maybe we should get one of the, like, of me being defeated. Because we also want to show that I'm vulnerable. Just a golfer looking for a Valentine. Let's go, let's see, let's see some of that. Oh, okay. Whose grandma am I staring at right now? Me local golfers suck. Next application, tall friends. It's a dating app for tall people. I wouldn't describe myself as particularly tall, but being tall is, is relative. It could mean five, six. So I'm just gonna sign up. <clears throat> Yes, my photo was approved. Why is she a clown? I'm gonna swipe right. <clears throat> Next up, date my pet. This website, you need a pet for your profile photos. This is my roommate's dog. <laughs> Just take a photo. Just take a photo. Stop biting me. Nice. That works. Kira. I was signing up for a couple dating apps, but I was still getting no matches. And that was worrying me a little bit considering the fact that- We have three days left until Valentine's Day. The goal is simple, guys. Just a date. A date would be nice. Somebody for Valentine's. All right, back to swiping. Geek to geek. Uh, it's a dating site for geeks. I did take some photos for this, just in case. Next up, we have Stash Passions. It's for women who are into stashes. The competition in these dating profiles is fierce. And if I want to stand out, I'm going to do everything I can to not be myself. The more I can be like someone else, the higher the chances are of me getting a date this Valentine's. Not every dating app was weird and hard to sign up to. There were some that were really easy, and I already had a profile in. Downloading uh, Hinge now. I built a profile a long time ago. I deleted it because I wasn't getting any matches and some dating apps were a little bit harder this dating app is called king snake it's for people who love reptiles so i ended up calling a pet shop near me and, and i asked if i could take a photo with a little reptile like don't think like she's like trying to kill you or anything like that it's not like a dog right it can't sense fear no it's nothing like that thank god After signing up for King Snake, I went back home and kept signing up for even more dating apps. Yo, come here, come here. This is my friend and roommate Tyler, and he's been in a happy relationship ever since I'd known him. I've never had that, but hopefully by using these dating apps, I think that's gonna change. Uh, balance sentence is in three days. I'm you gonna don't get... get a date? I'm gonna think you just suck, bro. <laughs> this is not it. I think this is it. I think a hundred of them, one of them's gonna be it. Facebook dating. Date a granny. She's spa. Downloading OKC Cupid. Coffee meets bagel. Upward. Match.com. I spent my entire day basically signing up for every dating app you can imagine. After creating 32 dating profiles, I don't even have one match. Eventually ended up taking a little break, ate some food. And this evolves into a meaningful connection that Theodore was looking for. Well, as we see, he remains conflicted in his decisions. It's 1.30 a.m. I'm gonna finish trying to sign up for as many dating apps as I can. Swiping left and right on all these dating apps was uh, a bit of a grind. There used to be a time where this was fun and I enjoyed it. I guess that belief is starting to go away a little bit. It's tomorrow, Manuel. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get up now. You know. The only thing you've made love to this Valentine's Day is that f***ing pillow. Yeah, the well, rest definitely not going in. <laughs> Day two started off pretty well, I would say. I started swiping like usual, creating even more dating profiles. But most importantly, I ended up getting a match. I know, pretty wild. I'm like actually really excited. Her name is Jessica. We matched on Bumble. She hasn't messaged me just yet. So that means I'm gonna continue to sign up for more dating apps in the meantime. All right, next up we have black people meet. Um, I'm gonna need some help with this one. You ever heard of this website called Black People Meet? You're black? No, I, oh, I'm not. So what I was gonna do was take photos with you. And my hopes is that they think it's you who they're matching with. Uh. There's the next app, guys. I'm gonna ask Tyler for help taking some photos. Tyler, can you take some photos for me real quick? Can you take oh, some? What the? Oh, okay. No, don't touch my dog. Dude, how much did you spend on that? Uh, it was like a hundred bucks, but whatever it takes to get a match. Yeah, it was a hundred bucks? Yeah, pretty good deal. <laughs> 
Now that we're on the topic of fairy animals, my next dating app has to do with people who love cats, but I don't have a cat. So I pay my friend Olia, who has a cat, a quick visit. Hey, yeah, hey. Take and right after signing up for that weird cat dating app, I, I went back home. I'm gonna check with the uh, other dating sites, just see if I have a match in any of them. And after all that swiping, it looks like some of the hard work was paying off. Oh, I matched! Hey! Oh, another match! I was starting to get matches on several apps, and Jessica, the girl that I matched with this morning, she finally messaged me. It looks like things are finally getting on the right track. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Bro, I'll see you tomorrow at uh, breakfast. I promised my friend Tyler and his girlfriend Sam that we would go on a double date on Valentine's Day. So now it would be a good time to probably check if anyone has messaged me back. So far, all the matches that I got yesterday, no one has replied to me except Jessica. She messaged me saying, hey Manuel, what's up? And I said, hey, nothing much, just vibing. What are you up to? She said, nice, I'm chilling. Took an edible. And then she sends me a photo of herself. And I was just kind of curious on what she ate. So then I just asked her what she ate. And then after that, she unmatched me. Um, yeah, there's that. We're only a day to go till Valentine's Day. We're about to take this sh to a whole different level of desperation. Next up, we have vegan dating, true flutter, flee, soon me. So this is a dating app that uh, uses avatars to, uh, you know, I'm not really quite sure what I'm signing up for. Oh, it's creating an avatar from me. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Next up, we're trying out J-Date. It's a Jewish dating app. I'm not particularly Jewish, but I could be tomorrow. With only a few hours left to Valentine's, I was swiping on every dating app you can imagine. Desperation was at an all-time high, but there were still a few dating apps that I still hadn't signed up for. Whatever it takes to get a date, alright? This is my friend Sam, also Tyler's girlfriend, and she's doing my makeup for this next dating app. Wish me luck. That was 80 bucks. What? Yeah, Very good, bro. I'm gonna knock two birds with one stone. I'm gonna sign up for Goth, a dating website for Goth people. Goth. Nightmare 7000. I am six foot two. What the? And I'm also gonna sign up for Metal, a website that is for people who love metal music. Metal Bad Boy 300. Message this girl, Lexus. No contact yet. Send a contact request. And the only thing we could do is just wait for a match. There's two hours left until Valentine's Day. I've tried 99 dating apps. I got some matches. I messaged them. They never got back to me. But there is one last dating app that I haven't tried. And at this point, it's my last hope. The last app we have to try is Clown Dating. Clown Dating is a website for people who are clowns and want to find other clowns to date. I also should probably mention that there's only an hour left till midnight. I've spent all day swiping again. With the little pride that I had left, I took my photos as a clown and I tried signing up. And then that's when I found out that this website stopped working years ago, which is a real shame because this $40 costume that I bought at Party City is uh, non-returnable. Today's Valentine's Day. Tyler and Sam have uh, left and they're, they're on a beautiful date together. I'm alone. Alone's a mentality, you know what I mean? But technically I am. I am alone right now. For the last couple of years, I've tried everything I can to not be alone. I hate spending time by myself, but I think what I need to learn right now more than anything is how to be alone without feeling the loneliness. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> uh, I wanted to leave it on a happy note. Didn't do that, but we tried. And some may say, try and wins gold medals, you know? Well, the f like first place does, but.